Would you like to see the fruits of the Black Lives Matters movement? The fruits of the Black Lives Matters movement are that if you see a white person and that white person is dressed in a way or wearing a hairstyle in a way that you do not approve, you have a right to stop them and let them know in, in whatever form you need to let them know. But they need to knock that off because you're culturally appropriating. Folks, this is not going to end well. Here's the, the lovely video in question. You're saying that I can't work, have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah. That's what she's saying. Do you know what box means? Do you know why it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, nah, bro, I'm not. Are you Egyptian? Hey, no. Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't matter. Wait, where's Egypt? I noticed the one dude. He's like, he ain't getting involved. He, he, he's not doing anything yeah, wrong. She's coercing him. She's grabbing him. She is physically grabbing him. So she initiated the physical interaction. And now she is going to try to get him in trouble. And this guy. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? For everyone's safety. Yeah, and then she, uh, and then she uh, go ahead and uh, gonna go ahead and uh, physically assault the the cameraman there. This was originally reported. This was an employee, but apparently campus police are saying, "No, man, this ain't this ain't one of us. These are just students. Yeah, students that your school is teaching, that your school is brainwashing into hating other people because they belong to some sort of collective." Which reinforces, of course, collectivist thought, which is just what all the good little statist folks want. Campus police at San Francisco State University have launched an investigation into the viral video that shows a female student confronting? Hmm, that's interesting use of the word. Uh, confronting a male student? I would say accosting. I would say physically intimidating a male student. Campus officials confirmed... That the video took place on campus Monday afternoon and that both individuals are students, neither are employed by the school. If that was me, if I was that white kid that that girl uh, said to me, you are culturally appropriating, my answer to her would have been, I'll culturally appropriate what I want to culturally appropriate. You got a problem with that? You go ahead and deal with it. Because if you keep getting in my face, I'm going to drop you like a stone. That dude was 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 kind of wussy, trying to find an out with the whole Egyptian culture thing. Nah, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just said, "Yeah, yeah, I love culturally appropriating. Isn't it awesome, dude? Wait a second. Are you using an iPod? What the heck you got on you there, man? That's not from. That's not from your culture. That's from the the culture that's oppressing you, isn't it? You're culturally appro. Oh wait, no, it's okay. Because if you're being appropriate." Uh, Oppressed by a culture, you can appropriate the dog out of that. So the statement from the SFSU, we are aware of this video made of an incident which occurred on campus yesterday afternoon. University police were called to the scene of the incident when it occurred. The two individuals involved in the incident are not San Francisco employees. Further, no charges have been pressed at this time to the university's knowledge. San Francisco State University promotes the rights of the campus community to engage in free speech, but does not condone behavior that impedes the safety or well-being of others. We are taking the matter seriously and will promptly and thoroughly investigate this incident, incident through applicable university channels, including our campus student conduct procedures. How much you want to bet there's going to be no follow-up on this? Because it wasn't a white boy that was assaulting a black girl. It was a black girl assaulting a white boy and uh I, I don't know what the position of the other dude is in the uh in that tan coat this dude right here that i'm pointing at with the tan and if you're watching the video you know what i'm talking about if you're listening to the audio you will just have to imagine i'm talking about a dude in a tan coat who happens to be black uh who was with the girl and at one point uh they were they're triangulating the the, the boy they've got him uh, somewhat against the wall, although he could retreat into a hallway behind him. But he wants to get up those stairs, and that's kind of where they're kind of impeding that progress. And as the video goes on, the dude in the uh, in the cream-colored coat, he's, he's not so intense on following through. Maybe he was intent on maybe talking to the kid, 
but uh, he didn't seem cool with the, the violence. The only person that, uh, that uh, acted in violence was the girl herself. This is the result of the BLM, of the cultural Marxists. This is exactly what they want. And the folks, including this girl, are useful idiots for an ideology and a machine that is actually mostly being run and promoted by very rich white people who love it, love it, when the black folk hate the white folk and when the white folk hate the black folk. Because that way, we can, we can keep you focused on, uh, on an artificial enemy instead of the real enemy, which is the state that is totally manipulating 